Hello everyone, welcome to Mrs. Clark's Music Corner, Bottle Cap Music Staff Edition. Last week, we started our introduction to the treble clef staff, and I explained to you all that it's going to be a super important part of your time with my friend and colleague, Mr. Galgano, who's going to be your new music teacher when you start third grade next year at F.E. Bellows. So we should remember from last week that the treble clef staff is made up of five lines and four spaces. And there's a really simple way for us to practice the lines and spaces of our treble clef staff, and that is with our hand. Our hand actually makes lines and spaces. If you think about it, you have five fingers and four spaces. The fingers are the lines, and the spaces in between your fingers are the spaces of the staff. So one, two, three, four, five, because we count our lines from bottom to top. And then in between, one, two, three, four. Again, from bottom to top. So your pinky is E, your ring finger is G, your middle finger is B, your pointer finger is D, and your thumb is F. And then the spaces in between, which spell the word face, don't forget, F, A, C, E. And we call this, believe it or not, a hand staff. And it's just a simple, easy way for you to practice on your own the names of the lines and spaces. And then, of course, there is the famous EGBDF song that Mr. Galgano wrote for his third graders that I taught you last week. And we're going to sing together right now because we want to make sure that when you get to Effie Bellows next year, you know it right away. So we're going to put our hands on our laps and you're going to sing along with me. Here we go. EGBDF. E G B D F. Those are the names on the lines of the treble clef. Yeehaw! E G B D F. E G B D F. Those are the names on the lines of the treble clef. Bum bum. F A C E. That's what the spaces say to me. F A C E. That's what the spaces say to me. E G B D F. E G B D F. Those are the names on the lines of the treble clef. Yeehaw! E G B D F. E G B D F. Those are the names on the lines of the treble clef. Bum bum. Yeehaw! So you should be practicing that song as much as you can so that you have it memorized for third grade with Mr. Galgano. And right now we're going to take a short break so I can go get my supplies and teach you how to play one of my favorite games. Bottle Cap Music Staff. Be right back. Welcome back. And now we have everything that we need for Bottle Cap Music Staff. So what you are going to need at home to do this successfully is two pieces of paper. Uh, one piece can have lines on it, but one piece needs to be plain with nothing on it. You're going to need a marker or something to write with and you're going to need seven bottle caps. Doesn't matter what kind of bottle caps or what size, they just need to be seven of them. And if you can't find seven bottle caps, you could use some coins, you could use buttons. You just need something small and round that's easy to move around. So here are my seven bottle caps. I colored them in to look like music notes. You can do that too if you like, you don't have to if you don't want to. So two pieces of paper, one needs to be plain, something to write with like a marker or a crayon, a colored pencil, and seven bottle caps or seven small round things. So what we're going to do first is we're going to draw a music staff. And we're going to start by drawing from the top down to the bottom. So we'll start with line five. 
then line four, then line three, then line two, and then of course line one. So now we have five nice straight lines and now what we have to do is put in our music clef, which for us is the treble clef. So we're going to draw that now. We're going to put our marker all the way at the edge of our paper and draw a nice straight line down with a little curl at the bottom. Then we're going to come back up and we're almost going to make a letter P which is going to close on the third line and we're going to curl it around that second line because that is the note G. Because if you remember from last week, the treble clef has a second name, the G clef, and that is because this curls around our G note. So now we have our staff for music staff bottle caps. On our second piece of paper, we're going to write down our music alphabet. So there are seven letters in our music alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, and of course, G. And then once we get to the note G, the notes go back to letter A and they start again. So there are only seven letters in the music alphabet. And what we're going to do with these seven letters is we're going to spell some words with our staff and our bottle caps. So we're going to do five words together today. And then you, on your own, can go make up a whole bunch more and maybe share them with me. So I would love for you to share them with me. So I'm going to look at our letters and see if I can find a word. And I see a word. I see the word cab. C A B. So I'm going to take my first bottle cap and I'm going to think about where there is a C note. And I'm going to remember that the third space is a C. I'll put my first bottle cap there. And I'm going to take another bottle cap and I'm going to remember that my second space is an A. I'm going to put a bottle cap there. And then I'm going to remember that my third line is a B. And I'm going to put my bottle cap there. And there's your first word. Cab. So now we're going to clear the board, see if we can find a different word. So let's look at our music alphabet again. I see the word bag, B, A, and G. So I'm going to remember that my third line is a B. Put my bottle cap there. My second letter is an A. A happens to be in the second space. I'm going to put my bottle cap right there. And then G is always going to be where the curl of the treble clef is. So I'm going to put that on my G line. And here we have spelled out in our music notes, bag. I'm going to clear the board, look for another word. I see the word bed, B, E, and D. So again, B is on the third line, here is B. Now we get to the letter E. Now this one could be a bit tricky because there's two spots. I could put my bottle cap. I could put my bottle cap on the very first line, which is an E, or I could put my bottle cap 
on the very top space, which is also an E. I'd like to put it on the bottom just to make things a little bit different. So there's our B and our E, and then my last letter is D, so E, G, B, there's D. I'm gonna put my bottle cap up there, and here spelled out in our music notes is the word bed. So I'm gonna clear the board again. Find another word. I see the word fed. F E D. So we're gonna start with the letter F. So here we have the same situation that we had with the word bed. We have two F's that we can pick. There's F in the first space, and there's F on the top line. I'm gonna choose F on the top line. So there's my F. Then we have E. Again, we have two choices. We can do E on the bottom line, or E in the top space. I'm gonna choose E on the bottom line just to spread things out a little bit. And then we have our D, E, G, B, D. I'm going to put my bottle cap right there, and that is the word fed in music notes. I'm going to clear the board and do our last example that we're going to do together before you go off and try this on your own. I want to make this one a little bit more challenging. I'm going to spell the word badge which is something that super important people like police officers and firefighters wear so you know who they are. So badge has five letters. So this is a challenging one, everyone. So we're gonna find our B, which is on the third line. One, two, three. There's B. A, second space, F, A. D on the fourth line, E, G, B, D. G on the second line. We're going to remember that that's where our treble clef curls around. And we can call the treble clef the G clef because of that. So we put it right there, nice and easy. And then our last letter E, we can choose between the bottom line and the top space. And this time I will choose the top space. And there is the word badge in music notes. So now everyone, you have all the tools that you need to play bottle cap music staff on your own at home and try to spell lots of words and have fun with it. And if you think of any new and exciting words that we didn't do together today, you can take a picture and you can send it to me because I'd love to see it. And I hope you enjoy this really fun game to help you learn your lines and spaces. We'll talk again soon. Bye.